Hey everybody, how's it going? Dan here and welcome to another edition of Walkthrough Wednesday. I am standing next to the Cougar 364 BHL, which is an awesome family camper. I think it checks a lot of boxes for family and you'll see when we're going through here. But I also want to say this bad boy is on sale. And actually, Greer, if you pan around, not just everything you see in here is on sale, but everything on our lot too. And I'll talk about exactly what the promotion is. It technically doesn't kick off until Saturday, but we're going to head and start it today because why not? It's Wednesday. It's cold outside. Let's just do it. So let's talk about this. Then I'll talk about the sale. The 364, it weighs 11,100 pounds. If you look back here on the back, you have some rear storage here in the back. This is under one of the beds and I'll talk about the bed when I get in there. You are backup camera prepped. All you gotta do is pop that out, put your backup camera in there and you're good to go. You have a ladder. So you have a fully walkable roof, making it super easy to clean and maintain the camper. Outside kitchen, this is big for a lot of families. Uh, you have your convection oven, but you also have a refrigerator out here. The, way I, the reason I say it's big for a lot of families is keeps the kids from running in and out of the camper, letting out the air conditioning or just getting it dirty. You can keep your pops here or you can keep nice cold beer here and it's less of a walk from the fire to the beer. We do have a campsite slide. So if you'll see, we have two awnings and they stretch probably, I don't know, 90% of the camper. Those are electric awnings. They have lights under them, so it's really nice. I'll show you this from the inside. That's my, that area right there is my, wow. So, some sizes and stuff that we put up in the showroom to help everybody out. I want to point those out. These are located at, on all the units inside, and they're basically going to show you, um, or give you an idea of what kind of vehicle tows this. The actual tow, I said 11,100, it's 11,246. So I was pretty close. This is our sale price, but during this indoor sale that we're doing, uh, we're actually taking an additional $1,500 off this unit, for instance. So Greer, stay right there. So basically how this works is we have these all over the showroom and they'll basically tell you, so for instance, this is a Cougar. So with a Cougar, we're getting $1,500 off. It goes all the way up to our Paradigms, $3,000 off, and down to, which are already extremely affordable units, $500 off. So you'll see these all over the showroom. We're getting ready to make some stickers to go on here that tell you exactly how much for the specific unit. So you've got your solid steps, which I'm a huge fan of. These things are sturdy. They're great for pets, super easy for people to get up and down. You've got the grab bar. Maybe you've had too much to drink. Maybe you're like me and you got a hip replacement, whatever. It makes it so much easier. And Gary, you wanna come up here? Big old pass-through storage. So you've got plenty of room for like folding table and chairs, all that good stuff. You do have satellite and cable TV hookup out here as well as power. So you can set a little table out here and have an outside TV if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and check inside. We'll start here in the bedroom. So this is your master bedroom. You've got your queen bed with storage underneath it. You've got nightstands on both sides and they do have drawers or cabinets, I guess I should say. I'm telling you, I would completely, totally hide snacks for my wife in these things. You have the his and hers closet on both sides. You are ducted to have a second AC back here if you wanted to. So you could order that ahead of time before you pick up the unit or you could have that added anytime. You've got a set of closets or a closet over here with drawers underneath. So you can hang stuff in here, store stuff below. Actually quite a bit of storage back here in the, bed, in the bedroom. I'll have Greer come around to that side for the bathroom. It's a pass-through bathroom. You have your neo-angled shower and it's using that new clear glass, which I love. We have it in our 366 RDS. I think it makes the room feel bigger. Toilet, of course, kind of necessary for a bathroom. Then you've got your sink with quite a bit of space on your sink. Storage below with cabinet and drawers. And you've got a nice big medicine cabinet in here. People always ask and I sometimes forget it because it's pretty much standard in at least all the units we carry. You do have an exhaust fan in here in the bathroom. So I'm gonna sneak around Greer. We'll come down here to the kitchen. So, kitchen area. We've got a huge kitchen island. So you got a ton of room for kitchen prep space. 
You've got uh, a nice big 50-50 stainless steel sink with detachable sprayer. So if your wife's getting on your nerves, sprayer or husband. You've got your three burner stove. Microwave, that is a full size like residential microwave. And as you see, you have storage above the microwave as well as down below the stove. And on this side of the island, you have storage. I feel very Vanna, Vanna White-ish right there, girl. Residential size stainless steel refrigerator. So talking about, you know, great for families. You can pack two weeks of food in this bad boy with no problem at all. That's got your cold goods covered. This has your dry goods. Back in the day, I would have filled this thing full of VHS tapes for when I was camping, but since we don't have VHS ta tapes anymore, you can keep your board games and stuff in here, you can keep all your dry goods in here, extra blankets, pillows, you name it. You have your booth dinette, which will turn into a bed. So we're sleeping two in the master bedroom. We've got an additional one or two here, depending on their size and comfort level. Then we have our theater seats here, and these things are extremely comfortable. They do have heat and massage and they do recline. And those are directly across from your TV entertainment area. So you've got, I don't even know what size that is. It's a big TV. You have your Bluetooth CD DVD player down here. That will control your indoor and outdoor speakers. And like I said, it is Bluetooth, so you can hook your device to it. We do it a lot. We'll be sitting by the campfire. We'll put on a playlist. We can even share it with friends and let friends choose the songs and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Fireplace, that is an electric fireplace, so you're not using your propane. Uh, early in the season camping, late in the season, they are fantastic. Like, uh, we use it pretty much every morning and every night in our camper. It's great to take the chill out of the air. Or, if it's nice out and you just want the ambiance of it, you can kick just the light on. I do also want to point out, I've kind of stepped over it. If you pan around, this does have all the new updated colors. So they've done a really good job. The ceiling is a lighter color now. The walls are a lighter color. And as you see, your cabinets and your trim are a lighter color. And then they've accented it here and there, like on the, you don't have to spin around group, but like on the booth dinette and even some of these darker colors here and below your kitchen island. You do also have a kitchen exhaust fan that is a massive kitchen exhaust fan. So you could also, like say you weren't cooking something stinky or whatever, you could still use that help circulate the air if you wanted to, but it's there. The really cool thing on this camper, it's the only one I have ever seen. Pause. <laughs> I got jumpy there. Um, dark, dark window blinds. I get asked this question a lot on social. They'll say, you know, it has a lot of windows. Can you cut the light out? Absolutely. Pull those down. You have full privacy. You can kick back in here, relax, watch a movie, whatever. So anyway, back to this cool part. It's the only one that I've seen since I've worked here, floor plan wise, that's like this. And I go to all the shows and stuff and I haven't seen another one like this. You actually have a second bedroom in this unit. So it is applicable for little kids and stuff. They have their own little private play area, but it would also work for if you have adult friends that want to go with you and they want a place to stay separate from you. Or if you have adult children who want to go, but they really want their privacy. So let's go check it out. So you've got a full size, almost queen size. It's a really weird sized bed, but this does have storage underneath it. And that's that storage I was showing you from the outside, but plenty of sleeping space for a couple people. So we've got two in the master bedroom, one or two on the booth dinette, and then a couple here. They have their own closet back here, as well as a nightstand with storage below it. Then you have this cool bunk area up here. As you'll see, we have our AC up there. They have their own TV hookup up there as well as USB connections if they wanted it up there or directly here on the wall behind us, there is a mount for a TV here that could be seen from both the uh, loft as well as the bed. So that's pretty cool. And then last but certainly not least is our half bath. So this is another thing that I say checks a lot of boxes for families. I was talking about when you were getting drinks and stuff out of here, cutting the foot traffic, coming in and out of your camper and getting it dirty or messing with stuff. Now they can get their drinks right there. They come in, they go to the restroom. You don't have to worry about them traipsing all through your camper and getting it all dirty. In here, we have storage below the sink, a nice size kitchen or kitchen sink, bathroom sink, countertop, medicine cabinet, and of course the toilet. What I have never been able to figure out is what you put back there. 
I'm thinking you get one of those toilet paper things, like the post thing that the toilet paper roll sticks off of. What do you think, Gert? Yeah. I mean, what would you put back there? Toilet brush. You could keep your toilet brush back there, too. Yeah, for those unsightly stains. Um, this does have an exhaust fan also. Since we're talking about toilet brushes, we might as well talk about that. <laughs> so this, this went downhill quickly. So anyway, Cougar 364 BHL. Entire lot is on sale. Um, we're going to put a link to our sale page with this post so you guys can check that out. But basically, every single camper on the lot is on sale right now. If you have any questions or there's something specific you want to see, leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to help you guys out. Thanks for watching.